nigga kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his wife. Take the Thorpe. I ain't doing no running, um, Miss Hilton. Okay. Well, is that what you told Detective Thorpe? I told you, I'd tell him anything. Okay. You want the truth, though, but I ain't doing no running. I'm gonna make other people run. All right. And once you went outside of the club, you saw the discussion at this meeting with this individual named Mo. Sound like something else I make up. Okay. And then at the time, Mo is actually in prison. I don't, I don't know who that is. Okay. I don't recall. All right. And that the guy in prison, he's supposed to try to get you and Thug killed. I don't know about Thug, but I'm still here, ain't That's not my question. Isn't it true that's what you told Detective Thorpe? Nobody's gonna do nothing to me. So do you not remember telling Detective Thorpe that? I don't told Detective Thorpe anything. Okay. Interview. Did you then tell Detective Thorpe that once you were made once you found out about this meeting, you reached out to members of If Gang and asked them if they were going to kill you and Thug. You sound cop and deuces. I'm sorry? You sound cop and deuces. I asked you, isn't it true that you told Detective Thor that after you heard about this meeting, about people wanting to kill you and Thug, you text If Gang asking them if they want to kill you and Thug. I bet you don't got any tell messages. So my, my answer is, you want me to tell the truth. And the truth is, when I talk to Detective Thorpe, whatever his name is, I told him anything. And I'm telling you today, it was a lie. And today, I'm telling you, I made things up. Okay. That so, is the God and his truth. So is it your testimony today that there wasn't, that you were not aware of a meeting? A, that you were the subject my, of my, to my you? My answer is I don't recall nothing. I don't told the detective. So, okay. and I'm telling you, whatever I did tell him, I was making it up. Shooting at a gambling house in Lakewood. I probably did just to try to make my story seem more convincing. I don't recall what I don't told him. I don't know. Okay. And during the course of that shooting at the Lakewood house, Thug's car got shot at. I don't recall. Now, did you also speak with, is it true that you spoke with Detective Thorpe? It seems like I'm trying to help Doug out. I'm not trying to help him out. I don't care nothing about him, what he got going on, nothing. I care about the truth. The truth was, I was going through a phrase in my life, and I have put all the blame on him. Okay. I don't know what he did. I don't know what was going on. But y'all got me on the stand, and I'm telling the God and his truth, leave me out of this. I made all these stories up, put the blame on him to get myself out of the situation because the police told me they want a big fish and I'm a little fish. They ain't who I want. Okay. So when they told me that, my only motive was to convince them that I'm telling the truth this guy right here and I'm lying. All right. Is it true that you told Detective Thorpe? Like I told you before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. And I'm telling you now. About 2015, I have got my life together. I'm trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue to say you don't recall if that's what it is. That's what you want me to say? I want you to answer the question. for just a minute. Did you kill Donovan Thomas, Mr. Copeland? Huh? Did you kill Donovan Thomas? You shaking your head? Is that a no? No. Okay, then. And is that what you went down there to tell Detective Thorpe back on January 11, 2015? Little D got into the car with you, and while you were in Mechanicsville, you got a call from Little D, from Little D from Mechanicsville, that he was on Cleveland Avenue. Do you recall telling him? 
Don't okay. recall. Okay. And once you got the call from Little D, you actually drove over to Cleveland Avenue and met Little D at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue. Yep. I don't recall. And is it true that you told Detective Thorpe that when you got to the McDonald's at Cleveland Avenue, Little D got into the car with you and just told you that Nut just got killed, bro? Detective Thorpe is a person that you can just tell anything to. And that's what I did. I do not recall what I said to that man. Okay. Is it true that you then told... All right. Okay. Can you be a little more specific in your questioning as to which statement it is? Sure. In the same January 11, 2015 interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you met Little D at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue? I don't recall. Okay. And in that same interview, when you met with Little D, he told you that Nut just got killed, bro. I don't recall. <clears throat> And you responded, really, bro? I don't recall. And then you asked him what happened. I don't even know what happened. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Thorpe that you asked him what happened? I don't know. I don't recall. And the first thing you told Little D was, damn, they going to say that I did it, bro. Huh? Isn't it true that you told Detective Thorpe in this January 11th interview that after Little D told you that Nut got killed, you said to Little D, damn, they going to say I did it, bro. Okay. Okay. Isn't it true you told Detective Thorpe that? I don't recall. All right. And he responded to you, shit, before I know you ain't do it. Who responded to me? Little D, that's what Little D said to you. He said what? Shit, but I know you ain't do it. Uh, that what he said? That's what you said to Detective Oh, Ford. I don't know. Okay. I don't recall. Then did you also, is it true that you also told Detective Thorpe that as you were leaving the McDonald's, Moon Tunk called you? I don't recall. Okay. Do you, do you ever call Moon Tunk called you that night? Okay. I don't, I don't know. All right. And that Moon Tunk called you on FaceTime? I don't recall. And Moon Tunk, for the record, is M O O N K T. O O N K. And is it true that when Mutu called you, you told Detective Thorpe that Mutu, you told Detective Thorpe that they think that you and Mutu killed Nut? I don't recall. And at that time, Detective Thorpe asked you for a number for Mutu. He did. Do you remember tell do you remember him asking you for a phone number from Moon Tool? I don't I don't I don't recall. I don't remember what we talked about in the interview. Okay. And also during that interview, you told Detective Thorpe that Moon Tool actually FaceTimed you. So you can tell the Thorpe anything, he'll go for it. Okay. And in that same interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that initially you didn't want to come to police headquarters, but you talked to people and asked them whether or not you should come down to the police headquarters? Can't nobody give me, I would not listen to nobody, not even you. Okay. Isn't it true that you told Detective Thorpe? So at first I asked like, hey bro, they saying I did it. I need to go to headquarters. And he's like, nah, we need them to call you. And I told everybody I didn't have nothing to do with it. So I called. I was trying to get the best advice I can. Then the next you know, they were like, oh, I called my girl's mama. I was talking to her before they shot her house up. Me and her was talking on the phone. 
you want me, you bring me here to tell the truth. The truth is, I made it up. I'm gonna keep telling you this. So the police can't get me. Man, we, we, we got you. You put a gun out on us, man. Just, just, just give us your boy Thug. What y'all want me to say? On January 11th, did you pull the gun out on anybody? Oh. Uh, on January 11th, 2015, did you pull the gun out on anybody? I ain't did nothing. Okay, so you went down to the police department on your own, correct? I don't recall. Okay, and when you went to the police, that was to clear your name that you did not kill nut, correct? I think that was the motive. Okay, so you went down on your own to tell them about whatever you knew about nut, correct? Mm. Say that again. You went to police headquarters on your own to tell them whatever you knew about nut, correct? Is it a trick question? No, it's not a trick question. Can you ask it again? Sure. Back in January of 2015, 2015. the night that Nut was murdered, you went to Atlanta Police Department, correct? I don't recall. Okay. And when you went down there, that was to clear your name that you did not kill Nut, correct? You gonna lock me up? Did you get locked up on January 11th, 2015? I'm saying if I get my answer now. Did you go to clear your name about killing Donovan Tommy? I don't recall. In that same interview, you were asked um, who dropped you off to the police department. And you told them it was Multo who dropped you off to the police department. Is that correct? I thought you said Moonton called me. After Moonton called you, did you meet up with Moonton? I don't recall. So much happened that night. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What do you remember happening that night, Mr. Copeland? Shit, I don't know. Okay. I ain't telling myself. All right. And back in 2015, isn't it true that Mooktooth was driving a blue or gray Malibu vehicle? Ask him. I'm asking you. I don't recall. In the same January 11th interview, did you also tell Detective Thorpe that the only person that you had beef with from If Gang was Kel? I don't recall. What I told the detective. But you asking me for the truth. I keep telling you, I would tell detectives whatever they wanted to hear or whatever they wanted me to say to get out of my situation. Right. Now, during this interview with the January 11th interview with Detective Thorpe, did you talk about the gang that Kel was involved in? I got to tell you about something. I don't, I don't recall. Okay. Did you tell Detective Thorpe that Kel was a part of Nine Deuce Inglewood ABG gang? I don't recall. Did you also tell Detective Thorpe that that was the same gang that Bloody J was a part of? I don't recall.
I thought I was here to I thought I was here to, to tell the truth. Okay. And what's your new version? What's your what's your truth today? That I lied. And that you lied about everything back in 2015? My truth today is I lied and put the blame on others for a lot of activities. I ain't telling on myself. I, I ain't got nothing else to say. I don't recall. Okay. Now, did you also talk to Detective Thorpe about you at one time being cool with Bloody J or being friends with Bloody J? I don't recall what I told detective, investigator, what deputy, whatever you want to call them. Okay. And then you stopped being cool with Bloody J and ABG once you started hanging around Thug. I don't hang with no, I don't hang around other people. Okay. Isn't that true that you told Detective Thorpe in this January 11, 2015, that when Thug started letting me hang around him. That's when you were no longer cool. I'm, I'm from Mechanicville. I, I do what I want to do. I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. I'm asking you what you told Detective Thorpe. I tell Detective Thorpe anything to get him off of me. Now, look, one thing I noticed about Woody, he going to tell you he don't recall. After it's all on video, he don't recall. You can see him red-handed. He don't recall. But when he think that he got them on something, or they said something, he he give a response, and then they be like, oh, yeah. So I'm asking you, did you go to clear your name? He like, is that a trick question? When he think he got them beat, and they, they bag him into a wall where it seems like he has to answer. He act like he don't understand the question. It ain't that he don't recall no more. He be like, Jen, what she say? What she had? I don't get the question. Like, listen here. What he doing? Everything his power not to go to jail. So he don't want to, I don't recall because he can't take the fifth. But when you say he don't recall, that's, look, man, even the lie tell the truth. So when you say you don't recall, all of them is lies that just express the truth. That's why they put you on the stand. Either you was going to play ball or you wasn't, but they're going to get something out of you. But they so dirty, none of that matters. It don't matter. Like, this whole case is a... Is, it's a clown circus. That's just my opinion. But y'all hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll be back with another one. Y'all let me know something.